the chapter 8 of Acts. We start at the verse, at the, at the first verse. And Saul was consenting unto his death. I mean, this was during the time that Stephen was being beat to death. So, and Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church, which was in or at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the region of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And the devout men, meaning men of God, carried Stephen to his burial. And made a great lament, uh, a lamentation over him, meaning that they cried, and they moaned over his body because he was a great man of God. He was one of the first deacons of the church, and back then deacons were very strong in title. You know, they almost mean as much as a as, as a pastor or something. They was very strong and very dedicated. People, you know, I hear people talking about deacons, but they're not dedicated like they used to. I don't, you know, what uh, something about the old church, and I'm not saying that they was all right, but they was very dedicated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. These days, people are not dedicated yeah. in, anymore yeah. because of certain reason, because they have not been filled yeah, with right. the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 And if you're not filled with the Holy Ghost, huh, you can't walk right for God. Huh? You can come to church all you want want to be baptized and all of that, but still can't do the will of God because you have not received the Holy Ghost. Come on, nobody want to talk to you. Right, right, and then we've been all the time of God know my, yes, God know your heart, but you need to be born again. The Bible says you need to be born again of the water and of the spirit. Hallelujah. So here we find right now that they was mourning over Stephen's body because he was a great man of God and a great example of that then. And they were stoning him, throwing rocks at him. And, and, and all he did is looked up and told God to forgive them for what they was doing. Because when you become a great person of God, huh, you allow some things to take place in your life because you're doing it to the glory of God. That's right. That's right. See, you don't have pride and worry about I, what nobody thinks about you because you're more concerned about how I am pleasing the Father. That's Amen. Right, that's right, that's right. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. So you don't have a lot of Christians. You got a lot of people that go to church I, I, now. I, hallelujah. I, but you don't have a lot of Christian I, I, folks I, I, anymore. I, 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 they use the title, but they're not Christian I, I, folks I, I, because they're not really dedicated uh, unto the Lord. Come on, somebody. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. We know the devil ain't nobody. Hallelujah. And we find that there was moaning, and then it said that as for Saul, he made a havoc of the church. A havoc which means confusion or disorder or destruction in the church or, or to the body of believers. Enter into every house and hauling men and women. Committed them to prison. He was he was just he was just going from house to house. If you said you was a believer, he'd go in there and struggle yeah. to to um he was persecuting yeah. the people. If you don't understand it, in these days Christian folks truly yeah. get persecuted yeah. by people. Yeah. They always been bothered. I don't care if you're on your yeah. job or something. See, like everybody get first choice over you yeah. is because favor ain't Fair. Come on, somebody. When you get the favor of God, guess what? You're going to bring all types of evil towards you. They first hated him, the Bible says. So if they hated him, they're going to hate you too. That's why he said you can't be a friend of the world because the being friend of the world is an enmity to God. The world is truly against Jesus. They like the tone of God because anything thing can be God, but when you say the name of Jesus, yeah. that's when the devil get mad. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's the name of Jesus that makes the devil get mad. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 And we find that they threw him in prison in verse 4. Therefore there was scattered abroad and everywhere 
preaching the word. Now it's funny, I want y'all to see something here. See, God had told all of them, and I hope y'all catch this in your personal life because you need to catch this tonight. Look at verse 4, it was talking about how when Paul came, it scattered them everywhere. But guess what? They was preaching the word of God and they scattered. Now God had told them to leave Jerusalem a long time ago and go to Samaria in Judea. But they stayed and did not move. So God had to cause or allow persecution to come to make these folks leave. Sometimes you are stuck in situations that you know God is telling you to leave. And God got to allow something to come and persecute you to make you move out of that situation. Oh my God. Y'all come to Listen, therefore they scattered abroad and went everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to Samaria. Now he go down to Samaria. Then they were stuck in Jerusalem. Because God had been told them to go to Samaria and go down to Judea. But they were stuck in Jerusalem. Amen. So so Saul came along. He wasn't Paul then. He was Saul. He came along and shook up the church. Ah, my, 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 my. Yeah. And what happened? They went to preach the name. Ah, my, yeah. my, my. Sometimes God got to shake some stuff up in us <laughs> to make us do what he want us to do. Hallelujah. Because yes, we won't do it when we get in our comfort zone. We think it's all about us, baby. But it ain't about you. It's about Jesus and what he died for you and how he, he brought you, you know, something about. See, see y'all got to start looking at this thing when I go back and look at my life. Let me tell you something. I got buddies and friends that I see every day. God ain't saved them yet. For, for some reason, he pulled me out of the rock. Just like he pulled you out. And you sitting up there worrying about her. You want to be out there with them. And God done pulled you out of the trash can and brought you into his mama's life. And you don't even want it. Just like when he came into the world, they rejected him. They didn't want the life. Some of y'all worrying about because you a Christian now or trying to be one. Thank you, Lord. Worrying about what they doing in the world. And they soul need to be saved. We find out here that after Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ to them. Look at this here word. He preached Christ. What do Christ mean? The, he preached the anointed one. He preached about the anointed one. He preached about the, 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 the anointing, right? The one that had all anointing. This is it said, and the people with one accord gave heed to those things which Philip spoke. Look at the people came on one accord. This is look at this they came on one accord. There was no whole lot of uh -huh. going on. Uh -huh. They came together now before one common purpose to lift up this wonderful name of Jesus. I want y'all to see this thing because this thing gonna get real good in a few minutes. Watch us. The people was on one accord and heed to those things which Philip was saying. They start listening to the man of God, hearing and seeing the miracles that he do. See, I'm going to tell you something. They say when a man is anointed, what they say, they say signs and wonders shall follow him. Amen. You can't tell me you ain't being free indeed and have not seen signs and wonders of Jesus Christ in this branch of Zion. You cannot say that. So you must know God be with me. Emmanuel is with me. God be with us. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank I want y'all to see. Yeah. For unclean spirits was crying with loud voices, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many was taken with pauses, and that they was laying and were healed. I'm going to tell you something. Y'all don't know how many people y'all have and that y'all connected to got unclean spirits. Y'all are around a lot of people that have unclean spirits. 
Oh, when we go on our job, there's some unclean spirits. Amen. You can go in your own house. You got some unclean spirits. Yes, Lord. Amen. And they start crying out. Yeah. And if you don't watch yourself, they'll try to make you cry with them. Ah, my, my, my. Yeah, they're trying to make you cry. You know why? They're always talking about the, they got a problem. Uh huh. Because they're crying. Mm. And then after a while, you partake of that. Uh huh. Right. Then after a while, you cry. Uh -huh. Yeah, girl, I'm, I'm messed up. Uh, yeah, I got problem. No, no, the devil is a liar. Right. You let them cry. You say, my God. Is awesome, God. Yeah, I ain't going right. to be in this situation long. Right. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. You got to see, see, we speak those things, though they're not that they are. Come on now. I ain't going to speak what you speak, huh? Because you dying, you want me to die with you. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. I ain't dying with you. <laughs> you ain't got no money. I'm between blessings. I ain't broke. <laughs> No matter where I'm between blessings. Amen. I ain't speaking with you speaking. Amen. 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 they try to get you to partake, and then if you see the powers in the tongue, you start speaking, and guess what? Your situation starts looking just like that. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. This is what I want y'all to see. But there was a certain man, and always a certain somebody. <laughs> there's always a certain person around us. I want y'all to notice there's always a certain one. Watch that certain one. Watch what the Bible says about this certain one. Watch, watch what he said. But there was a certain man called Simon. Which before time in the same city, and he was in, in Samaria with them for a long time. Watch this. Use sorcery. Uh, watch it. Anybody know what sorcery is? Watch it. Well, let me watch tell you if you don't know. Sorcery ain't nothing but ma manipulation. manipulation. You got somebody around you don't use nothing but some manipulation. They cut off. <laughs> yeah, you got a certain one around. I know that Watch how he operates, y'all. I need y'all to see this thing. And he bewitched the people. When you bewitch somebody, you, you fools them. You make them think that you are what they are. Jesus. How many people you get what they say as Christian too? But they, they fooling you. Yes, it's called bewitched. Oh, maybe y'all don't know it's a lot of witches running around these days. Yes. Yes. And they bewitching people. Amen. Because the Bible said that they come in sheep clothes. Yes. Amen. So they look like a sheep. Yes. Amen. 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 They, they, they sound like, woo! Uh, you, you, you're here later. You're here late. They don't say bad. They say woo. Watch. They whoops. Amen. I ain't never seen nobody say, I love you, but I'm gonna go to church with you. I love God. You do? Yes. Well, why are you not in church? Amen. Uh -huh. Romans go with the Romans. Uh, yes, amen. People that go to the club go to the club. Right. Amen. If you're a Christian, you come to the house of God. Amen, Pastor. Don't give me that. that, that, that bit. You bewitched. Bewitched. Because whatever you are is what you're going to do. Uh, yes. Wow. God's people go to church. Amen. Amen. Oh, I wouldn't be here. I used to go to club. I don't go to club. No, you know why? Because I'm God now. Amen. I see a dance. I change parts. Amen. I want to 
to the government. Don't dare to his tomb no more. Amen. Amen. You can't serve two masters. Yes. I ain't never seen a bunch of Christians serve the devil and God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we call ourselves Christian, but we serving the devil and God. Amen. And the Bible says we can't serve two masters. Right. Yes. Who are you bewitching? Yeah. Well, you better watch yourself. You better watch yourself. Most of the time, they think they fooling somebody, but they only fooling themselves. And the Bible says those who worship me must worship me. What? Spirit. And what? Good. When you fool somebody, you ain't worshiping in truth. That was a sorcery spirit, manipulation. Trying to make somebody think that you are something that you're not. That's all manipulation is. Let's go to record. We're going to see this certain sorcery. Watch what he do. Same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria. Giving out that himself was something great one. So I'm going to tell you something about the devil. He always try to make you think he's somebody. Because Christian folks ain't got to make you believe. All you got to do is be around them and you're a fellow. I ain't got to tell you who I am. Most of the time I go somewhere, I only tell my pastor. Uh -huh. Come on now. Something about you. They say something about you. I ain't even open my mouth. It's the spirit. They say when Jesus came and the demons started saying, why are you bothering me? They know who you are. <laughs> He ain't got to run around telling about I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a that. The last thing I tell people is what I am. Because guess what? They'll know you by your I have some of them. I mess with their minds. So listen. You're a minister, preacher, something. What makes you think I go to church? Mess them up, they don't know what to do. There's just something about you, you know what I mean? I said, really? I said, praise God. Then they know. I said, praise God. I help them on out and kill their curiosity. Because they're on the right track. I'll just be trying to see. If they really can see. Right, exactly. Amen. Yeah, yeah, I work, I make them work. Amen. I put people to work. And the Bible tells me to try the spirit, by the spirit. That's right. See yeah. of me. I'm going to put That's you to work. Right. Amen. I put people to work. Everything that say, Lord, Lord, I never knew you. Always going to be said is you. You watch this. Here. So he gave it out to himself that he was something great. Look at this. Here. To whom they have, they all gave heed. From the least to the greatest, saying, This man is great. Mm. Power of God. Look at how he done fooled the people. Yeah. He got the people believing that he's something great and that he is a power. Do you know how many people got you, got you believing that they really in the God? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I ain't messing, I ain't messing with them. I'm talking about pastors all out of it. 